What is good, beautiful people? So today is a big day for me because I am going to start a new program called 75 Hard. So I have been wanting to do this for quite some time ever since I found out what this was. Um, so a buddy of mine actually turned me on to a guy by the name of Andy Frisella. Um, and he had a podcast that I listen to a lot. Um, sometimes I share it on my story and everything. Um, so he has a program called 75 Hard that is a mental and personal development program. So today I am starting it. So I wanted to hop on here and explain a little bit more about the details of this program um, and also why I chose to pick this one specifically. So 75 hard is like I mentioned before, more so a mindset and mental personal development program rather than like a diet or training program. Um, that's really the reasons behind why I'm choosing to do this one. So basically there are some guidelines and rules with it. So they're actually pretty simple and basic, but there are five that I just want to go through real quick. So there is 75 days are included, basically day one through 75. And there are five things you have to do each and every day. So just pick a specific diet. So for me, I'm just going to actually do a lean bulk diet and try and get up to 200 or 205 um, pounds. And then there also can be no alcohol and no cheat meals. And then the last one is actually reading 10 pages of a book each and every day. So in addition to those rules, there are also just some kind of guidelines about the program as well. Um, you basically have to complete all of those steps. You have until you go to sleep that day to complete, or I guess that night to complete everything um, in the day. So that's number one. Um, like I said, one of the workouts has to be outdoors. Um, the books have to be physical books, no audio books. And then the kicker is if you do not complete one of those five steps throughout the day, you have to actually start back on day one. So if you reached day 74 and did everything like that and you messed up on 74, you have to actually restart it, go back to day one. So we are going to see how this goes. Um, I'm super excited, super pumped, and I know that I'm going to be a better person because of it. So uh, if you guys want to follow along, I will be sharing um, as much as I can. So, so day one starts today. So, what is good, beautiful yeah. people? Seventy-five hard is officially done. Officially in the bag. Officially in the books. Seventy-five days of drinking a gallon of water every single day, drink, or reading ten pages. You know, alcohol, cheat meals, sticking to my macros, my diet, taking a progress picture, and. Two 45 minute workouts every single day, one of them being outdoors. So, yeah, I just wanted to speak a little bit about it and what I've learned along the way, uh, aside from just my uh, physical changes. Um, I think actually what I took away the most from it was everything that I gained up here um, and in here instead of what you can just see kind of externally. So, I'd like to speak a little bit about my inner transformation that I have um, undergone over the past two and a half months and. Hopefully it can help and inspire some of you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. Okie dokie. So I started off on January 10th, 2022, day one at 199.8 pounds, so rated 206 foot. And I one what, the way that I actually did my outdoor workouts was I did a sunrise yoga right over at, at Runyon Canyon. Um, and every single morning with my friend Meg, and that's how I started my days, 6 a.m see the sunrise doing yoga and actually by doing all the stretching and yoga and, and all these things i actually i gained an inch from an inch half to half an inch uh in my height and now i'm six one and 192 pounds so ended up losing about eight pounds and gaining an inch so six one 192 started six foot 200 so Gained an inch, lost eight pounds, and that's my physical transformation, pretty much. So a little yoga. I never really stretched before, never really did any yoga or anything like that. Um, and that was the biggest thing, one of the biggest transformations that I I found. Not only physically would it help me physically, but but in my in my mind as well, in my heart. 
And the sunrise yoga was a sunrise hike in yoga. So that's where I got my 45 minute outdoor workout in. Um, every single morning was super easy. It was such a great way to start off my days. Uh, but now I'd like to actually speak a little more about the inner transformation in my, in my mind, in my heart, and who I think this actually would be good for and a good challenge for someone um, who's kind of thinking about, about maybe giving this a go. So two of the biggest skill sets that I would say I learned over the course of these past two months since beginning 75 hard was commitment and discipline and commitment to that discipline. So when you commit and actually follow through with your goals, what you say you're going to do, what you tell yourself, you learn how to keep a promise to yourself. And this builds and strengthens integrity within you and gives validity and honor to the words and actions that you choose. So you not only learn how to trust your instincts, trust your actions, you you also, what comes out of your mouth and the words that you choose and the actions that you choose to make from those words and from this inner dialogue become legitimate actualizations into your world. And that is your reality. Your reality is shaped from the words in your inner dialogue that you tell yourself. So when you say you're going to do something, you actually follow through with it and do it. It, it allows you to trust yourself. A lot. It brings honor and validity, like I mentioned, to everything that you say, because you absolutely will follow through with it and complete it. And I've also learned discipline as well. So I've learned that discipline is a nourishable skill. It is not a character trait. It is not something that people are born with and it's not something that you were born with. It is a result of the actions that you take and how much that you practice discipline each and every day. I think it's something that you can always nourish and you can always develop and get better at over time the more that you do it. So I knew that this was something that I didn't really, I didn't have mastered. And I knew that I needed to invest more into this skill. And so 75 Heart is about identifying these skills that you don't have, investing into those skills, and then watching those skills go to work for you. And I kind of think back to when I was starting this program, I remember watching, I looked back at the video of me explaining this and, and saying, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna gain out of this, but I know I'm going to be better because of it. And it's just helped me grow in so many different ways. And so I kind of thought, you know, if you can build the courage to even start the program, the areas in your life which are the most important, think of your family, business, your professional life will undoubtedly just skyrocket and you will never go back to whoever you were or this this mediocre this mediocrity that you've been living you know prior to this program and if someone this is what i found is that is if someone knew you prior to this program they won't even recognize you not only physically mentally spiritually verbally you will not be the same person you also i've also learned that you will not live with regrets after completing this program and I think that is a result of, of being disciplined and doing the things that you know you should be doing, especially when you don't feel like doing them. And I think that's a lot of times where, at least personally, I found that I've had a lot of regrets is you know, not doing something that I knew would benefit me, but I knew it would be difficult to do, or um, like psychologically, mentally, I was blocking myself from, from doing this because I was scared of what might happen. Um, so you, I've learned that you, know, you, won't, you will not live with regrets after completing this. Learn that you will love yourself more than you've ever loved yourself. You will have the most peace, love, and joy that you've ever had. And you'll have the most clarity for you to go in whatever direction makes the most sense for you towards whatever goals that, that you want to accomplish. And it will change your, your entire life. And then I also want to speak on how I felt prior to starting the program. And I think of this question of what if. So... As somebody who could be potentially struggling with making, with starting anything really in their life, whether it's if it's this challenge, whether if it's a new job, a new career, um, a new relationship, new friendship, um, really anything new that might be difficult, obviously to start anything, is is asking this question, what if? And so a lot of times you may think, what if I fail? What happens if people make fun of me? What happens if people judge me? You know, what happens if I lose and they don't succeed? But what happens if you do succeed? 
What happens if you come out and you've learned to develop the discipline that it takes to be the best version of yourself? What happens if it comes out that you've made the best decisions to become and set yourself up to be the best version of yourself? What happens if you do win? What happens if you find that self-love that you've built for yourself? No one else built it for you, you built it for yourself. What happens if you succeed and you understand what you're capable of versus what you thought you were never capable of? What happens if you start to live the life that you want to live? And that's the part that I think about whenever I'm starting anything new, and especially this challenge, when I, when I started this was um, that a lot of times, a lot of people are just scared of starting because they're afraid of that what if. They might be looking at it in, in the wrong way. The opportunity that lies ahead rather than the, the unknown that that they may falter under, um, you know, whatever these perceived uh, pressures, if you will, um, that may come from starting something new that they've never started before. But what happens if, if it comes out that you win, you succeed at whatever it is you want to start, whatever goal you want to, to set for yourself and begin and set down? What happens if you decide that to make that one decision that could catapult, that could catapult your life into becoming what it's meant to be? What if? And so when you sit there and you struggle and you challenge and you're afraid of failing, that's good. Because when you fail, that's when you learn what you're made of. But when you succeed, you learn what you're capable of. And that's the what if that you should be chasing. So unfortunately, I do think whether it's from others around us who we surround ourselves with um, through social media, through, through whatever it is, I think too often in life we're told to say what if we lose, what if we fail, we are going to be made fun of, we are going to be judged if we fail. But what if you win? What if you look at it in that entirely new light? And when you start thinking about what you can do in your life and what you're really capable of and how you can be proud of yourself because of what you know you're capable of, that's the dream that you should be chasing. The decision shouldn't be what happens if you fail because they're going to make fun of you, they're going to make fun of me. The decision you should be making is what happens I win. What is a life going to look like that I should be living? What if you actually are that person that you want to be? What if you actually are that human that you admire and that in every single person that you meet? Think of traits such as someone's work ethic that you look up to, their drive, their confidence, their love, their empathy, the way they treat people, their security themselves. You notice that are, are super admirable qualities that you, you meet someone and you, you instinctively know this or, or are aware of this. You, you follow someone on social media and you are super inspired by them and look up to them for these qualities. What if you actually have that too? What if that is who you are? Deep down, you just haven't, you haven't dug deep enough. You haven't found it yet. Uh, because I think that's, that's what I found. I think everyone has that in them and it's just buried. It's, it's in there, right? We're just trying to find it. And I, I'm a great example of it, I, I, I think. Because I, I know that I, I hadn't found this yet. And I think it's something that we're always actualizing and discovering. I think it's very similar to our potential. We all have these super admirable qualities that, that we see someone else have. You know, they, we see someone's work ethic, we see someone's discipline, their love for the people around them, their empathy, the way they treat people, their confidence, all these things. We are all, we have all these inside of us. We're just trying to figure this out and get out of our own way, get out of our own head. And that's, that's what I found. And that's a powerful thing. And so I think about, you know, if you are someone that is inspired to go on this journey and um, I would, I would just suggest to make up your mind right now that no matter how hard it is to stick to this program, um, not cheat on your diet, to tell yourself no matter what happens that you finish the program no matter what. And if you go into it with zero compromise, zero substitutions, that I'm going to do this no matter what happens, no matter what gets in my way, you will come out the other side, a version of yourself that you will look yourself in the mirror you will look yourself in your camera, wherever you're looking at yourself in, maybe in your own head, maybe in your own heart, and say, damn, I'm proud of who I became. I can promise you that. And that's the biggest takeaway that, that I took from completing this challenge and kind of going forward, um, 
75 hard is a is one piece of <clears throat> a greater program called live hard this is all created by a guy named Andy Frisella and I've been listening to his podcast called real AF very frequently uh, really good life advice and um, I think this program is a is a program to develop complete confidence and complete control of your own environment from what you can control such as how much water you can drink putting new knowledge and, and good knowledge and, and always learning something new every single day with your with your reading um, getting your physical activity in with your two workouts and one of them being outdoors sticking to your diet it's a full discipline program that you develop within yourself and so yeah that's been that's been my growth and my journey so far so the next thing that i'm going to be doing that i am going to be doing is phase one so then there is phase one two and three after 75 hard so phase one i'm immediately going to be starting into this um actually not this next day is the only thing is it's everything that 75 75 hard includes that's a prerequisite to starting this and it also adds in a five it adds in a cold shower which i've been doing most days and then it adds in 10 minutes of dedicated visualization and three critical tasks added into um, five powerless tasks that move you in the direction that um, in actualizing and completing whatever goals you set for your for your life so Phase two is then you have to at least wait a month after phase one to begin. And then phase three is to be completed in the last 30 days within the year that you start 75 hard. So that will be pretty much in December for me. And yeah, so now comes phase one. And one other thing that I'd like to mention that doing this program has, has helped me a lot in is it really got me to fall back in love with content creation. And several years ago when I, when I kind of created my, my Instagram as a fitness page and um, I was super inspired and super loved making little workout videos, and motivational clips, and I kind of got away from that. And what this actually brought for me was not only a, a history, a timeline of each of my days where I, I forced myself to make a reel, I forced myself to make a reminder post, I forced myself to go on my story and interact with my audience and my community and you guys. And it forced me to get more comfortable with doing things that I was super uncomfortable with, which was going on social media and and showing my life and and being vulnerable and all these things. And that's what I'm one of the most very appreciative of from doing this is it allowed me to take myself out of it, like totally take all my ego out of it and just say, I'm here to help people, I'm here to engage. I am here to find inspiration. I am here to offer inspiration. And that's, uh, I really just found the, the power of social media through this program by forcing myself to document this journey. And I can not only know this progress that I've made and this growth that I've made in here and in here, but I can also see it. And I think that's important for all of us to courageously share, authentically and genuinely share our stories, who we are, what we're going through in our lives because when you choose to make it the when you choose the decision to always be the best version of yourself you are inspiring someone else to make that decision for themselves too and that helps make this world a better place so that's all i got for this little this little 75 hard transformation video i hope you took some value from it and i hope you started if it makes the most sense for you too Love you guys. Peace.